and this will run down till I'm not sure what the low limit on that is before it calls and then the uh, economize will come on so I'll stay put here and watch this I'll pause the video because you'll get bored here's some more close-ups of the burner I personally like Beckett burners. For those that wonder, that's the dryer running in the background. That's what that noise is. And since we're waiting for this, I'll um, activate the hot water heater by turning this up a little bit. That rattling noise you hear, I believe, is that check valve right there. Believe it or not, if you look closely at that needle, you can actually see it dropping relatively quickly. Okay, I just heard it click now, and now under normal conditions without the heat manager, the burner would be back on again. But as you can see, it's on economizing. And the temperature is below 170 now, just slightly and dropping. Okay, the dryer shut off, so now you can hear the circulator pump run. And we're still in economize mode. And our temperature still dropping. Also, I forgot to mention is that little red low temperature limit when the uh, boiler has been off like for instance in the summertime for a long period of time and it gets below whatever threshold it is 135 or 130 degrees that will also come on and it'll say standby mode unfortunately this time of year you'll never see that Okay, the burner's going to kick in. And there it is. That's the temperature that it picked today for low limit. So that's how the uh, Beckett heat manager works. Also you notice the burner, these newer burners have a self purging on it. It starts the actual blower in the burner um, before it starts the burner itself. You'll hear that in the video. Anyway, you can go on to the Beckett heat manager website. I'm pretty sure that's where I found the information on this. And they have all kinds of videos and so on and so forth. Anyway, hope this answers questions and thanks for looking.